What's up, Resident Alien fans? Season 4 is coming, and after that huge cliffhanger in the Season 3 finale, I know you're all dying to find out what happens next. Today, we're diving into the one thing that Season 4 must do to avoid disappointment, starting with a time jump. Trust me, it's the only way this next season can deliver on the intensity of Season 3's ending. Let's get into it. In the Season 3 finale, Homecoming, we were left on the edge of our seats. Harry is imprisoned on the Grey's ship, while the shape-shifting mantid takes his place on Earth. Now, if you're like me, you're probably thinking, please don't let Harry just escape in the first few minutes of Season 4. That would be such a missed opportunity. What we really need is a solid time jump, several months, maybe even more. Why? It would let the writers fully explore the consequences of that epic Season 3 finale. We'd skip the boring parts, like Harry sitting in a cell, and instead, jump into a world where the Mantid has a time to truly wreak havoc. Imagine, Zack's doppelganger has been fooling everyone for months, and Harry has to come back to a world completely turned upside down. That would create so much more tension than if Harry just immediately broke free and returned to patience. Let's talk about Max for a second. When we last saw him, he was staring face to face with the Mantid in Resident Alien Season 3 finale. A time jump would let us see the aftermath of that encounter. Has Max been kept alive as a prisoner? Is he playing along with a fake Harry? So many possibilities. A jump in time allows for richer storytelling, where the stakes are higher and the characters are deeper into their struggles. And come on, who doesn't love seeing how much has changed after a few months of chaos? But hey, let's play devil's advocate. What if there's no time jump? Well, there's still a way for the show to stay interesting. Harry can't immediately return to patience. Maybe he's got to make his way back slowly, facing new alien challenges along the way. Or perhaps he teams up with Robert Hutchins on the Grey ship and takes on the interplanetary community. That would keep things fresh, right? As long as Harry isn't just stuck in a cell, doing nothing, the show could still keep the suspense alive. But honestly, I'd much prefer the time jump.